face. You the up now, boy. You the up now. And madam, it looks like when it rains, it pours. And you trying to get Ant back. And all he trying to do is get back at you. What's really good? Hey, hey, y'all. It's your good sis, Erica Vane, coming to you right here on Erica Vane TV with another All the Queen's Men video. In this video, I'm breaking down season two, episode number 13, child. In this dramatic strip of drama, we're going to talk about it all right here. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my All the Queen's Men contents, okay? Y'all want to miss it because, child, you can't look away with this series. The episode picks up right where the last one left off with Madam checking Doc. It looks like she broke his nose after she discovered a wire on his jacket. Then she's able to recover very quickly, play off. He goes over to the corner, strips down, and then lets her know, like, yo, I did not know that that was there. I would not do that to you. And I'm going to go ahead and give him this pass because if we do recall in the last episode, the FBI agent handed him his jacket on the way out of the precinct. So she definitely could have bugged it without him knowing and it looked like a regular low button so he would not have caught it he was too busy flirting with her but it definitely put him in a in a really interesting predicament i think the biggest thing about that moment was um madam saying the only reason why you still stand it is because of aunt because she is now trying to basically measure twice and cut once versus just jump into conclusions because that compromised her relationship with amp and put them in a position that they're in now so instead of just going ballistic and and assuming that doc was dirty and doc was snitched and all that kind of stuff and ending him because of it she's giving him a chance because of what just happened with amp and we get to see this play out with her in the rest of the episode because she is very very calculated even so much of sending tommy over to talk to el fuego and like being specific of like sir i didn't ask you to kill him stop asking me to kill him i just told you to go talk to him and i kind of like this madam a madam that's a little bit more calculated a madam that's that's allowing her loyalty to set in with others and and register that people are actually loyal to her and not everybody's a snake in the grass even though amp who is over there with the little hillbillies getting his ass whooped and getting tortured or whatever um he is literally in the moment in the grips of the enemy also basically like the enemy of my enemy is my friend basically because he wants to partner up with the damn hillbillies to go after madam and it's like sir i get that you still pissed at her but like let's be for real the way this man these men have dropped the n n word with the hard er like 60 million times while you here then back slapped your ass in this chair and got you strapped down and now you want to team up to come after your auntie sir amp is a mess and i literally like with every episode that passes i don't like him even more and i not that i want him to go ahead and, and be unalive but at this point do we even need him dom will be okay her heart will mend and we will find a real soldier a real thug a real good to be able to handle that because amp is giving he ain't it i'm sorry y'all he's just giving he ain't it now, thank God that trouble is exactly what her name says, trouble, because she starts to mess with the little white boy in this episode and come to find out dude is an undercover cop. And when she comes to pick with him and, and try to take his headphones and hear what he's listening to, he happened to be listening to the wire that they put on Doc because they are coming after Madam full force. It's him, it's some little dark skinned lady posing as a client. And then of course the FBI agent shows up by the end of the episode. She's sitting in a section, but can't afford it, um, watching everything. And I'm just like, wow, not them giving this hard ass press to try to take Madam down. And what exactly do y'all think that y'all gonna see on the periphery of the strip club? The, the people that you have in place are never going to see or do anything. The little white boy don't barely gets to get on stage except for his little honky tonk strip show that they use every now and again to warm the stage up. You get to go into the amateurs dressing room, which y'all are all shoved in there like sardines in this basic like three by three closet. You have no access to nothing. And now you're even acting more suspicious. You trying to take this lady to VIP and all she got is $200 to her name. Do you know the amount of money that these women are throwing every night? Y'all are begging to get caught and then get murdered. Y'all are begging for y'all to take a visit down to the basement in Eden and Madam to go ahead and make it do what it do. A matter of fact, Madam ain't even gonna have to know about it. Blue gonna go ahead and handle it. Cause sir, get it together. But again, thanks to Trouble, 
um, Tommy winds up taking the recorder, and now he, the 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 little undercover white boy, is trying to figure out how to get it back. She try to go and fuck, fake make peace because she about to set him up to get banked or beat up or whatever. <laughs> but in the episode, trouble is like really trouble. And up until now, she got on my nerves, but now that she just sussed out this person who was like trying to take Madam down, I'm like, all right, we can go ahead and use you. Cool, cool, cool. Um. She is basically trying to make him believe that she didn't mean no harm by and they want to be friends so she could set him up. But lo and behold, um, Tommy has the recorder for the little bit of recording. It doesn't have anything incriminating on it, but at least that's some evidence of like them doing um, an unauthorized wire and bug planning or something. Even though Madam is never going to the police and never going to do anything by the book, she's going to go ahead and go under the table and take care of things behind the scenes. But we got a lot of, like, setup in this episode. Um, Tommy takes a visit to go and talk to El Fuego, as I mentioned, because Madam asked him to. And we find out that El Fuego don't want to dance no more. He want to go behind the bar. And he don't want to leave Eden, but he's uncomfortable. He's very clearly uncomfortable. But he also is not... He's not giving snitch to me in this episode, y'all. He don't want to know nothing so when Tommy like yeah I'll tell you like no I don't want to know I don't want to be able to speak to nothing I just want to make my money do my thing Tommy makes a comment about how sad his apartment is and he like I'm just I'm doing what I got to do to get by like that's it that's all and that's one thing that I really respect about El Fuego I love that they have really maintained a clean slate for him he seems like a very solid guy of course he's not a part of any of the drug stuff he definitely looks like he wants love when we get to see his ex um and then how distraught he was by that he is definitely a man looking for a home and a family and like really just trying to get his life going so you want to root for him and i'm just glad that he is not going to be used as a pawn of like he's going to be the weakest link and they're going to have to go ahead and take him out i'm gonna need el fuego to be around for quite a while because he humanizes a lot on the show where he's surrounded by nothing but a bunch of gangsters and killers now aside from all of that the other two major events that go down in this episode is babyface winds up accidentally tossing miss patty off of a balcony at this private party that she shows up at because her ass is crazy and i knew it was gonna happen i thought that she was either gonna jump herself or he was gonna accidentally push her off but this dude back slaps her ass off of over the side of the railing of this of this uh patio that they're on and they look like they're on like the 30th floor and she falls to her damn death and, and hits a car and i'm just like can y'all negroes stop killing hoes for two seconds can you please First is Teresa in front of the bus. Now Miss Patty then gone off the side. Midnight. Are you about who you about to you about to accidentally unalive one of these fluffers? What is going on? Y'all are like a, a black cat, and it's very much so giving curse around this mug. And if you thought it was bad before, faced with her having a restraining order or like some kind of police order, oh, a warrant out for his arrest because she faked like he beat her ass. If you thought it was bad then, now that you're at the scene of her, like, and you were last seen on the patio with her, everybody's gonna assume that you killed her, that you threw her off at the top of this roof. And what you think gonna happen now? You thought she was on the run before? You thought it was bad before? These dudes cannot stop making Madam's life hard. And once she finds out about this, it's going to be hell to pay. But right now she focused because she discovers, because she's been trying to reach out to Amp and he hasn't been reaching out, she goes over to his apartment. She discovers that he was taken by the hillbilly yos. And now the rest of the episode, she's really trying to figure out how she's going to get them back, what's going to happen. It's weird because a, a separate part of that group shows up and talks to Blue is a part of this episode and like, oh yeah, we want to talk to them. And then now they're able to put two and two together and Madam is clearly going to have to negotiate or I don't know. She told Blue to take them to the basement. So she might not be negotiating she might just be dipping them in acid and be like where my nephew at my nephew my nephew my nephew and can we blame her no we really can't even though amp is very much so not loyal very much so not worth the effort that you about to go through to get his ass back because he's ready to flip on you in a dime but here we are and that's it y'all the episode ended on miss patty falling to her unalivement in a very shocking twist and I'm headed on to the next episode because I got to see what happens next. 
it's your turn though jump down in the comment section and let me know what you thought about this episode how do you feel about it were you shocked or appalled at all tell me all that you're thinking and feeling in the comment section down below be sure to like this video because you made it all the way to the end and i think that you liked it and go ahead and click right here and check out my episode 14 breakdown which is also up right now let's go ahead and get this binge session on erica van tv going you know you wanna see you in the next one